Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 22's first episode of Family Feud. Today we have our two teams, the Wyndham Track Team. And the Wyndham Baseball and Softball Team. I'd like to call the two captain or the captains of each team to the front. What's your name, buddy? Aaron Axford. All right, we have Aaron Axford taking on Andrew Derrick. Andrew Derrickson. So. So I'd first like to start by bringing up our two captains. All right, so here's how the game's gonna work. We surveyed 100 students, and we asked them these questions. All right, if you think you know the answer to the question, you're gonna slap this table, and uh, obviously you get a chance to answer. If you get it right, you have the option to play your pass. If you pass, the other team gets a chance to steal your points. But if you play it, then your team gets a chance to clear the board. Got it? Yep. All right, here's the first question. If Wyndham Area High School were to change their mascot, what should it be? All right, what's your name? Andrew Derrickson. All right, Andrew, what do you think? Bear. All right, it's Bear on the board. Yep, that's the top answer with 21 votes for Bear. All right, Andrew, would you like to play it or pass? We'll play. All right, you're going to play it. So I'll start with the next member on your team. What's your name, bud? I'm Wyatt Stevens. All right, Wyatt, what do you think? I'm thinking Warriors. All right, it's Warriors on the board. <laughs> yep, that's a third answer, 17 votes. All right, next up, what's your name? Sutton Dewans. All right, Sutton, what do you think? Um, Cobras. All right, it's Cobras on the board. <laughs> Whoa, top three. All right, next up, what's your name, ma'am? Hannah Redmond. All right, Hannah, what do you think is the next answer? Um, the Panthers. All right, it's Panthers on the board. Oh, oh. sorry, Hannah. All right, Andrew, we're back to you. What do you think? Uh, Lions. All right, Lions, that on the board. <laughs> and, <laughs> all right, I heard Bison, I heard Bison. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are back back to Wyatt now. We got two spots left. What do you think it is? I'm going to have to go with Dragons. All right, is Dragons on the board? Oh. Oh, it looks like it's not. That is your team's second strike. All right, Sutton, with one strike left, what's your guess? Um, <laughs> Lions. All right, we have Lions. <laughs> and Lion. <laughs> All right, there's one answer left. Think you got it, Hannah? Um, the rabbits. Rabbits, all right. Oh. And that's not there. All right, track team. You get, you get one chance here. All right, what's your name, bud? Spencer. All right, Spencer. This is for it all here, for all the first round points. What do you think it is? The Sharks. All right, Sharks. There's Sharks on the board. <laughs> Sorry, bud. It's like the baseball and softball team wins the first round with 76 points. Oh, the last answer was Tiger. All right. The next round, I'd like to bring up Spencer and Wyatt. Spencer and Wyatt, please come up front. All right. If Wyndham Schools were to add a sports team, what should it be? Wyatt. Tennis. Tennis, he says. And the survey says that is third. All right, Wyatt, would you like to play your pass? We'll play. All right. So we're going to move on down to Sutton here. Sutton, what's your, what's your guess? Um, soccer. All right, soccer. Is soccer on the board? 
Oh, that's the number two. 35 points. Wow. All right, Hannah, what are your thoughts? Swimming. Swimming. And the survey says it's fourth. All right, Andrew, we're back to you, Captain. What do you say? I'll go uh, lacrosse. Lacrosse. And lacrosse is the top answer. Way to go, Andrew. All right, Wyatt, what do you think? Air hockey. Air hockey. All right, all right. It's bold. Sorry, bud. That's strike one. All right, so now we're down to you. Bowling. Bowling. It's a fun activity. Oh. Nope, not fun enough, I guess. All right, Hannah, one strike left. Rugby. Rugby. Is that on the board? Oh. No, it is not. So, track team, we are back to you again. I believe we are down to, what's your name, bud? So, Fishnick. All right, Joe. You get one shot here. What do you think it is? Disc golf. Disc golf, my personal favorite. Is that up there? Oh. That's not up there. So, again, baseball and softball wins that round. It's cricket. <laughs> cricket. You never know. It's a fa fast growing sport. <laughs> All right, and the baseball and softball team racked up 96 points that round giving them an astounding 172 points overall. And now we move on to the third round, which is double points. Can I get Sutton and Joe to come up here, please? All right, here is your question. What is your preferred school lunch? Joe. Nachos. What was that? Nachos. All right, nachos. Is that on the board? And nachos comes in at number five. Good guess, Joe. Would you like to play it or pass? We'd like to play it. All right, all right, bold strategy. All right, and now we're going to come down to you, sir. What is your name? Gavin Mutz. All right, Gavin Mutz. What do you think? Uh, tacos. Oh, tacos. All right, all right. Is it on the board? Oh. That's strike one, buddy. All right, Captain Aaron, what do you think? Uh, pork chop. Pork chops. That's a good one. Good enough to be on the board? And pork chops, the number one answer. All right, Spencer, what do you think? Um, let me think. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Good, good choice. Good choice. <laughs> spaghetti comes in at number four. Nice job, Spencer. All right, Joe, we're back to you. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Is that on the board? Oh. Nope. That's strike two on the track team. All right, Gavin, what do you think? Uh, chicken patty. Chicken patty. All right, is that up on the board? Oh. Nope. That is three strikes on the track team. Baseball, softball, get one shot. Andrew, what do you think? Cheese sticks. Cheese sticks. Is that on the board? Oh. Nope. The track team gets the points that round. <laughs> and that totals up to be 48 points for the track team. And the remaining answers were pizza, chicken Alfredo, and coming in at number six was kids bringing their own lunch. It's a good choice, good choice. All right, and now we enter our final round, which is the triple points round. Gavin and Hannah, and Hannah please come up to the front. All right, this is, this is the big one, guys. A girl going to prom should always have a what? <laughs> Hannah. A dress. A dress. Is that up on the board? <laughs> Number one is 77. Would you like to play it or pass it? We're going to play. All right, they're going to play. All right, Andrew, we're going to start with you, buddy. What do you think? A date. A date. Is that up on the board? <laughs> yes, it is. Number two. All right, Wyatt, got a couple left here for you. What's your thought? Heels. Heels? Every girl needs heels, right? Is that on the board? Oh. Guess not every girl needs heels. All right, Sutton, with one strike, we're down to you. Um, her hair done. Her hair done? Is hair done on the board? 
No, it's not. That's two strikes on the baseball and softball team. Hannah, it's down to you. Um, flowers or like a corsage? Flowers or a corsage. Is that on the board? <laughs> yes, it is. Number three. All right, Andrew. You got two strikes. Jewelry. Jewelry. Oh. Is not on. Track team, after those three strikes, we are over to you. Aaron, what do you got? Makeup. Makeup. Is that on the board? Oh. No, it's not. And the baseball softball team gets that one. They win the round. And the last answer was extra cloth. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it meant to say clothes. Sorry, technical difficulties. It'll happen. And with our baseball softball team winning, we move on to our fast money round. And we're back with two members of the winning team. We have Andrew and Wyatt. And these two are going to participate in our fast money round. And the way this is going to work is Wyatt is going to start here. And Andrew is going to go out of earshot so he can't hear Wyatt's answers. He's going to have 30 seconds to answer five questions. And if he doesn't know an answer for one of them, he has the option to pass and come back to it later. And then when Andrew comes back, he'll have 35 seconds to answer the same five questions. However, he cannot repeat, and their goal here is to get to 200 points. So Andrew, would you please leave the game set? A little quicker, please, Andrew. We don't have all night. <laughs> all right, and is our timer ready? Yes, it is. All right, Wyatt, first question. What time do you think school should start? 8.30. Name the worst kind of shoe to wear in a marathon. Nike. Name a brand of shampoo. Dove. Okay, name a song that everybody knows. Pass. What kind of technology would be the easiest to do without? iPads. Name a song that everyone knows. Five seconds on the clock. National Anthem. All right. <laughs> and we're back with Andrew. Andrew, you have, a ch or you, you have to answer the same five questions, but you get five seconds longer than Wyatt did. Wyatt got 68 points, meaning you have to get 132. You ready? Yep. All right. First question. What time do you think school should start? 9-10. Name the worst kind of shoe to wear in a marathon. Name the worst kind of shoe Adidas. to... Adidas. Name a brand of shampoo. Old Spice. Name a song that everybody knows. Call Me Maybe. And what kind of technology would be easiest to do without? Uh, computer. All right. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see how they did right after a short break. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. Tally up the final scores here. All right, first, we're going to start with Wyatt's answers. So, Wyatt, you want to come around here and switch with Andrew? All right, when asked what time do you think school should start, you said 
8.30, and that got 17 points. When asked, name the, fir- name the worst kind of shoe to wear in a marathon, you said a Nike, which unfortunately resulted in a zero. When asked to name a brand of shampoo, you said Dove, which got 12 points. And when asked to name a song that everybody knows, you said the National Anthem, which got seven points. And when asked what kind of technology would be the easiest to do without, you said iPads, and that was 32 points. That was the top answer for that question, though. And you ended with 68 points. Now, when Andrew came up, he had 132 points to make up. So why don't you come around here, Andrew? All right, Andrew. When you were asked what time of day should school start, you said 9 o'clock, and that got 42 points, the top answer for that question. When asked, name the worst kind of shoe to wear in a marathon, you said Adidas, which was zero. The top answer was flip-flops. When you were asked, name a brand of shampoo, you said Old Spice, which which got you five points. Not bad. When you were asked, name a song that everybody knows, you said Call Me Maybe, which was another five points. The top answer for that one was Uptown Funk. And the top answer for name a brand of shampoo was Suave. And when asked what kind of technology would be easiest to do without, you said computer, which got 17 points and was the second highest for that question, which resulted in a grand total of 137. Sorry, guys. That's just short of 200. Just 63 points short. And we'd like to thank you for tuning in to Channel 22's first episode of Family Feud. And we'd love to see you back another time. I'm Adam Farig. Have a good day.